she was told to never open the box, preventing the frightful destiny of mankind. So at least it is true that a man has no control even over his own will. Long time ago, after winning the dreadful war against the Titans, the giants and other creatures who wanted the downfall of the gods of Olympus. The overwhelming victory of the gods over the vicious forces sent by Gaia in order to dethrone Zeus was complete. The new chief of Olympus and his siblings ruled undisputed lords of all. The world had become a safer place, where people could live in peace without having to fear a sudden appearance of uncommon creatures. The world was ready for mankind, it was time for men to be created. In order to make that happen, Zeus devolved the task to Prometheus, and his brother Epimetheus, who fought alongside with him during the war against the Titans. Epimetheus had the role of designing nature, lands and animals, as his brother had a task to create the first humans. But, Epimetheus granted all the good things to animals, he gave them incredible physical abilities and other type of skills, leaving humans hopeless. Prometheus then thought of a way to make mankind superior. He fashioned the first men in a nobler shape than animals, and gave humanity fire that he stole from heaven. Not only he has done something forbidden by the gods, but by craftily tricking the chief of the gods himself, he also arranged that humans should get the best parts of animal during sacrifices, and the gods the worst. Something he has gotten an unbearable punishment for. Prometheus caring so much for mankind was getting Zeus even more upset as days gone by. So Zeus decided to take revenge on mankind, and then on mankind's friend. He made a great evil for men, a sweet and lovely thing to look upon. Looking like a shy maiden, she was created from clay by Hephaestus as a gift for Epimetheus. She was dressed of silvery raiment, embroidered veil, a wonder to behold, and bright garlands of blooming flowers and a crown made of gold. A creature with incredible beauty. She was granted of multiple gifts from the gods. She received craftsmanship and weaving from Athena, beauty and emotions from Aphrodite, guile and craftiness from Hermes and finally, Zeus bestowed upon her, the trait of curiosity and a box as a wedding gift. A box into which all of them had put something harmful, and forbade her to never open it under no circumstances. Because of what they gave her, the Olympians called her Pandora, which means the gift of all. When this beautiful disaster had been made, Zeus brought her out and wonder took hold of gods and men. From Pandora, the first woman, came the race of women, who are evil to men with a nature to do devilish things. The gods sent her down to earth along with Hermes, who brought her to Epimetheus. The Titan rejected her at first but then married the beautiful woman in haste, although Prometheus his brother being aware that Zeus was plotting something and still seeking revenge, had warned his brother to never accept anything from Zeus for the safety of their creation, mankind. Despite that warning, Epimetheus took her in. Later on, when that dangerous woman was his, he understood how good his brother's advice had been. For Pandora, like all women was possessed of a lively curiosity. She spent days looking at the mysterious box like it was calling for her name. And as days passed, she grew eager and more curious about it, she had to know what was inside the box. Eventually one day, she could not resist any longer. On that very day she gave in, and against instructions, it was she, who opened the box. Lifting the lid, and out flew all types of ills and plagues. In a second, her room was filled with despicable scent and a gruesome gloomy smoke. She heard all sort of whispers and screams from evil spirits all around the chamber. She was the one who unleashed sorrow, greed, envy, cruelty and mischief that have since afflicted mankind to these days. In panic, Pandora shut down the lid as fast as she could but too late, the worst was already done. She had released all the evil that have been sealed away by the gods. A rampage of evil spirits and demons quickly spread around the world. 
From that day forward, humanity faced jealousy, pestilence, famine, diseases, temptation, death and all kinds of evil. Overwhelmed by despair, guilt, and not knowing how to deal with what she just unleashed upon mankind, she got curious once again, and decided to open the box one more time. And then suddenly, she felt great comfort, like something has just embraced her soul. Closing her eyes, she felt relieved that at least one good thing, however, was inside the box and she knew everything would change for the good. The last thing to come out of the box was hope, the only good thing the casket had held among the many evils, and it remains to these days mankind's sole comfort in misfortune. Another version says, these were items that Prometheus had left over from the creation of man and stored in a jar, which Pandora who could not resist from looking inside foolishly opened. We often say box, even though it was originally referred as a jar, but throughout history and translations, the real word has lost its authentic definition and description. Another story about Pandora is that the source of all misfortune was not her wicked nature, but only her burning curiosity that Zeus bestowed upon her. He wanted to counterbalance the good things that have been unfairly given to humans by Prometheus. Thus henceforward made humans fight for what they desire, nothing good would no longer be given to mankind unless they make some efforts to deserve it. Needless to say, that Pandora was nothing more but a pawn well played by the gods. So, mortals learned that it is not possible to get the best of Zeus or to ever deceive him. The wise and compassionate Prometheus understood that as well. When Zeus had punished men by giving them women, he then turned his attention to the arch sinner himself. The new ruler of the gods owed Prometheus so much for helping him defeating the other titans, but apparently the chief of Olympus forgot his debt. Zeus had his servants, force and violence to seize him and take him to the Caucasus, where they bound him to a rock. But this is another story for another time. Today, we discussed about the myth of Pandora who could not restrain herself from looking inside the mysterious box, even after being told not to, and was crushed by her curiosity. Maybe telling people not to do something is certainly the best way to get them close to do it. So if you don't want anybody to do that thing you don't want them to do, probably you should not tease them nor tell them about it. In fact for us mere human beings, who abide by some transcendental entities or laws, curiosity is far beyond mankind's reach of control. If you've enjoyed the story, then leave it a like, a comment and subscribe as that helps me to keep on creating more content for you. And thank you for sharing around so that others can enjoy as well. See you next time for more of Greek mythology stories. And as always, stay curious.